This is Vegas All Net Radio, the final frontier of free speech. Views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the hosts and guests and do not necessarily reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio, its affiliates, or its parent company. Welcome back to SinCityBounty.com, the one and only podcast where we can talk about anything we want. Anything we fucking want. Anything we motherfucking, cocksucking, son of a bitchin' fucking want. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like oh, I have so to just say fuck really quick. You do. Just say fuck. Just, so not, so you know. just a real quick, uh, we've gotten Toxie into it, but she hasn't caught up yet to where we are in the saga that is known as Walking Dead. Yeah. Can I just say that these last episodes, they they all went just like this. They've all all of them so far since 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 the the the, return the the return return, return. they've all been like this. Fuck yeah! Oh shit! Fuck yeah! Oh shit! Fuck shit! (laughs) Fuck! Ooh, fucking! (laughs) Let me let me me tell you what it's like to be a season behind. (laughs) So I'm finally on season five. And I started this show not because it's something I genuinely would enjoy. I don't want to watch fucking zombies. Didn't you have to shut it off in the first five minutes? I did. I was I was minutes in texting you guys. When you shot the little girl, you had to turn it off. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this shit. So you know, I push through because you guys talk about it all the time, and I'm like, all right, I got to do it. I got to do it, and I got into it. But here's the problem. When the fucker who gets you to get into the show keeps posting damn spoilers. I we haven't post posted any spoilers. spoilers. I can tell you the things that happened the past two weeks because you allude to it. And I purposely scroll past it. <laughs> and I can't help it. Like when you put a Carl meme up. Like, yeah. Like, I can't help it. <laughs> Carl. I did not post that Coral meme. Uh, I did have jokes and I refrained from putting them up. But it's been a week since that first return. Well, I'm listen. I am normally I know. a I know. firm believer in the fact that, like, if it's a week past, it's on. If you didn't watch it, like, that's tough shit. But the thing here is, is that I didn't even care about the show. Right. I never watched. The <laughs> but show. now you're like, no spoilers. You got me into the show. And this this and week, you're both of us. Her. And this week, both of us only posted one word. Right. Well, well I, I did post a video so though that I tagged you in later. Did you post? Oh well, the a running. Video. Yeah, so I know. The video. There was a little uh, about happening. And, <laughs> oh yeah, there was you fucking. know, and yeah, there was so fucking. I didn't. I, I, I didn't it. post any about wow crap. But it's not the first time the there's moment. been fucking one word. Oh, I think and for those heard- of you, for those of you who commented on my post, shipping is when you yeah, want it to happen. When you want it to happen, canon is when it's done. It, right. it, that's it. So this is no longer a ship. Rashon is cannon now. Cannon! <laughs> cannon, bitches, cannon. One end, two ends, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> of course, all of the all of the uh all of the comic book uh nerds nerds are like, that's not how it happens. Right. Like, not in the, the comic book. No. You're in season five, right? Wait, it's a comic book? It, it is started a comic out book. as a comic book. Yeah. It's still a comic book. It's still a comic book. And it's like years and, beyond and where we are. And you're in season five, so Andrea's dead. Which one? The blonde. Andrea. Yes, she's dead. Andrea's dead. The one, that, dead. the one that everyone was like, maybe they're lesbians with Michonne, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, she's so dead. So in the comic, the children are dead. In the comic, it's supposed to be Andrea and Rick oh, Did right you get now. to the look at the flowers part? Watch the flowers. Look at the flowers. Yes. Yes. That did that kill you? Did you have horrible. to shut it off? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I mean, I I watch. I try not to watch on the TV because then it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll split my com- like death and glory. Oh, God. I'll split my uh, I'll split my computer screen and I'll watch it on a very small screen and then I'll just like keep looking away. Or I just got past the scene where they got to that vil- that play that uh, sanctuary. Right. And oh, the cannibals. Yeah. No. No. Well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where they yeah, were slaughtering they, people yes, over the trough. Yes, yes, yes. And they, they lead them all over the trough and they go down one at a time. And I'm just like, oh, God, oh, God. Like, <laughs> I just, I just can't deal it's with like it. It's like Quentin Tarantino blood spray. Yeah, in that oh, it was scene. horrible. Great. And then it's like dripping down the drain and they go in a room with the body now, hanging. Now that you've been watching it, you can't stop watching it, even though you have to yeah, stop no, it every no, now no. and then, right? Like, I want to catch up so now I can. Um, not care about like no no spoilers no spoilers right. 
I just want to catch up now. I've got them all on my iTunes, so if you want to come over one day and we'll sit and do a marathon, you can catch up with the current season. Okay, good. Yeah, I I do need the current (laughs) season, so that would be great. It's the only show from iTunes that I pay for. Yeah. What is a season on there? 45, I think. 45? I could get it off some legal website hey for you free. could but they're mine <laughs> uh, see, I, i've been ingrained i was i was with a union guy for a really long time you just don't do that kind of stuff, i'm so. i'm well aware that's why yeah. i smiled and um i yeah. meanwhile i'll tell you how to get in the back door <laughs> well, i'll tell you how lots to of lots of lube <laughs> Anyway, so yay, Walking Dead. We love it. Yay! Even even the past episodes. Woo! Okay. Lawrence of Arabia, are you a Walking Dead fan? No. No? What? Not at all? Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't you watch this show? (laughs) And no one here will spoil it for you when you're one season behind. (laughs) His name is Carl, but he can't see. (laughs) So as soon as you come back. Arl. Arl. Yeah. There's a scene his name. Not anymore. As soon as everyone said that, I'm like, aw. And then I was scrolling today, and there was a different meme with, you know, where you could see his eye. Well, it's been long enough that people are going to spoil it now. So. Well, so here's the thing. The comic book nerds will tell you that happened a long time ago, way yeah. sooner in the storyline than it happens for the vid- for the television show. Right. And meanwhile, those of us who are television show fans and haven't seen any of the uh, comic books are like, stop spoiling it, because one day I'm going to read them all fucking spoilers well they sometimes do it with with there's no fanfare to it like you're not i i know you guys warn me don't get attached you know you you never know they'll they'll not they will kill out. anyone but they'll do it sometimes in an app ep- like you expect it at the finale or right at the end right so you're holding but, on yeah, you're and just all like of a sudden, do, 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 do. they're you know they're like slicing the neck of the doctor and um and you're going did it really happen? Like, or even with the little girl when the when the sister killed the little girl. I I suck at names, so right. yeah, no, that's I know fine. like when Michonne, the older sister uh, and Carl, right, and Glenn, and that's like it. Um, <laughs> that's when she wants to put it on Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am totally a Rick girl. <laughs> Are you? Well, I want. I'm, I'm I would be if you took Rick, a bath. Like, I'm, I'm like crazy <laughs> Rick in the bath. first days at the prison, Rick. Like, yeah. I'm if like, he I took can't. a bath. I None can't. of them are bathing. <laughs> Rick so, is know. too up and down for me. I He's can't. like so emotionally crazy. Oh my god. So you want you want yourself some uh, Daryl? No, nope, not a Daryl fan either. No. No. Nope. Yeah. Why is that? Are you sticking? A fan? Are you sticking Blazing Asian going with Glenn? Uh, Glenn's like my brother. I can't date Asians. <laughs> <laughs> every, every Asian I know is it's like dating my brother. Except your brother is hot and does yeah. not look Asian at all. And if he's half Asian and half Puerto Rican, like Tiger Woods, my brother now. Tiger Woods, I couldn't date Tiger Woods. Looks just like my brother. Her brother's way hotter. Really? Yeah, yeah. he's super hot. How old's your brother? <laughs> my age, I think. Right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He's in your age bracket. He all works right, out right. a lot. He's got the muscles. Oh, so handsome. business. He's very handsome. My my sister's beautiful as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I can't date uh, a semi Asian kind of looking guy because it's so it's like familial. It makes you think of your brother. It's very familial. <laughs> yeah. Very incestuous. I have the same thing about you know dating former football player assholes. They just remind me of my brother too really? much. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just joke. I love my brother. <laughs> I still wouldn't date anyone like him, but I love my I brother. I love your brother. Did too. you have a shout and out? And my brother is an asshole. He I do. I, I have a shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to my coworker, Steven. Woo-woo. Steven. Super Steven. He is a video game designer. He's pretty, like, he's designing this video game. I get snippets of it on Facebook every now and then. I'm super excited for it to be ready for me to play because I'm super excited about it. But he's going through a really rough emotional time right now with his mom and everything else that's going on and I know he's like super overwhelmed right now. Mm-hmm. I just want to give you a shout out Steven and remind you it does get better. It feels like bullshit right now and it's exhausting and it's a pain in the ass and you don't feel like there's any sort of fucking reward for it. And there isn't right now but there will be in the end. So. And there you go. Hey, um since you're doing the shout out for your friend Steven, video game designer, that's pretty awesome. He yeah, he's pretty cool. And he's totally like my kind of nerd, you know like ah. My kind of nerd. Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you were waiting for us to come on the air, we were having some Ustream problems um, getting it to boot up or whatever the hell we're it is. We're trying to get it to recognize the camera. But before the heart song, there was a song from our folder from when we used to do the show way back when 
uh, called uh, Big Girls Rock Big by Girls Angela Rock. Wolpert, who used to be with Bypassing Oblivion. Her current band now is um, Resurrection of Ruin, and you can find her on Facebook. So shout out to her as well. We She's still love fabulous. that song. Yeah, we still I'm, I'm listening to the song, and I'm like, hey, I know that song. What song is that? Woo! Big Girls Rock. Big Girls Rock. We had some really cool postings on our Facebook page of Big Girl stuff. The Big Girl Yoga Girl. Mm, that Big Girl Yoga Girl is fucking phenomenal. Right? And then the, the, the comic pole, book. And the Pole Dancer Girl. The Pole Dancer Girl. The Pole Dancer Girl's been all over. But the the Yoga Girl, like, that, that's hot. I need someone to come to my house and put me in those yoga poses. <laughs> and then there's the I'll comic. I want to do it, too. And then there's that comic book superhero post yes, with the Big yes, Girl. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, I had some friends trying to get that. Um, did it just come out recently? Uh, the articles just came out, so I'm assuming yes. Okay, it, it yeah. may not even be print yet. It may I, be true. I it wanted, not article. It may not be canon yet. <laughs> I want to think. I do want to think it is because I I um had a friend who was looking, and I I'm assuming it's the same one unless there's another big girl superhero comic book. Not bug. that many. <laughs> So, um, and I know she was trying to hunt it down and, and got it from like one place that they shipped it to another store and held it for her. Well, so. there's plenty of uh, great comic book stores here in town that will probably more than definitely, uh, uh, get them in. There's alternative reality. There's cosmic. I there's love cosmic. Those Wait, so, so you awesome. just walk in there and it's just comic books, well, comic uh, books, comic graphic books. novels, toys. Yeah. Yeah. Video games, paraphernalia. Sci-Fi Center carries comics. So yeah. I'm sure uh, Will is, from Sci-Fi Center would order it in. Is Sci-Fi Center where the uh, Geek Squad's at? Are they still there? The Geek Squad know. is a Home Depot. I mean, a uh, circuit. <laughs> no, no, no. Thing, no right? the, the Geek Lounge. <laughs> oh, the Geek, oh, the geek Lounge. lounge. That's it. I don't even know if they're going on anymore. <laughs> I got to text them. I boys. think they were. Uh, you know what? I did. Uh, Blade Runner came to the theater. Mm-hmm. And every every so often it comes out in the theater. It, it did for its 25th year anniversary. It did it because Roy Batty's birthday was uh, February, I believe it was, early February. And so they released it in the theater. You can go sit in the theater and watch it for like five bucks. And so I put together this meetup thing where we anybody who was a nerd who loves Blade Runner, it's my number one movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, Adam... Adam from uh, Adam the Smasher? Geek Lounge. Uh-huh. Adam uh, Smasher! So I got to see him. They've been on hiatus, but I think they're revamping and coming out again. I don't know for sure. it was just Adam sure. and Luis for a little while because... Uh, yeah, I think they may have changed the name, oh, but yeah. you could probably Google the Geek Lounge. Mm-hmm. You know, I should give them a call and see if they want to come on. Ooh. That would be a good they guest to have. They are always good people. That they're happen. hilarious. Yeah, yeah they great. are. So we'll we'll go from there. And that the one guy I'm. Um, but we just can't we just can't yes. include coffee. Adam won't come if there's coffee. Why? Were you there for when we tried to hook him up with the veterinarian and she? Yeah, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. And he was like, I don't want to be your baby daddy. She's like, I just wanted you up for coffee. Like that was it. <laughs> Uh, no Luis, is it Luis Adam. was the one? Luis is the one who does the Spanish soccer voice for right, you. Right, right, right. But he's the first um, person's lap that I sat on when I started the show. Right. Yeah, that's right. So his was the it was your ass that laugh. got him to do the soccer thing for yeah, us. Yeah, that's yeah. right. At the 200th episode. Yeah, I'll give him a call, see if they'll come on. You know what? And I'm going to talk to Will see, from the Sci-Fi Center, see if he'll come Ooh, on. He would I, be good, too. I Will like is, Will. like, gorgeous, number one. He's a, one of the most beautiful black men I've ever seen. And uh, I love nerd. his store, although he lives, uh, his store is, like, in, in bumfuck ghetto. Egypt compared to where I live. So I can never visit. <laughs> we've been there a couple times, never but it's store. fabulous. <laughs> All right. So we've got stories to talk about. We do. Who wants to go first? Wait, uh, what about the curse word of the week? Do we want to hit that, do that up first? now yeah, or do it later? Uh, let's wait a little bit on that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to think of something. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I, forgot to, I forgot to remind her. I usually ask her yeah, before the show. Um, all right. So, I think I have a note. Um, there's a couple of little quick stories I want to get out of the way. Um, one is uh, I love President Obama. Love him. Love him. I don't care what your politics are. I love him. And I love him even more after this news story came out. His uh, 2017 budget proposal eliminates a $10 million a year grant for abstinence-only programs. That's the Sanders man? What do you mean the Sanders man? Now, who are you talking about? President Obama. Oh. His budget for 2017. <laughs> oh, she's not paying. She's looking for a curse. I am going for a curse. So not only does he You said 2017, and I'm like, 
Aren't we going to have another president by then? Aren't they just going to say, fuck your budget? They have to do his budget for that first year because the president plans the budget for the next year. Uh, not only does it eradicate abstinence only until marriage sex education funding, it also increases funds for the teen pregnancy prevention program, maintains funds for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Division, Division of Adolescent and School Health, and calls for a five-year extension of personal responsibility education program. Love my president. Love Did him. you see the video of him with the hundred and what is she? A hundred and six. Yes. Year old woman. <clears throat> yes. And she like it. It made me cry. It was so sweet. She was so excited to be there. <clears throat> and she was dancing. Yep. Yeah, that was great. There was also the other hundred and one year old video floating around of the. Morning talk, yes, morning daily she's show. she's 110. 110. And, <laughs> and that one's hilarious. It like, is. they're throwing a party for you later. Are you excited your family will be here? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I plan to be at 110. Oh, I love that one, Are you too. super excited mm -hmm. for your birthday? Are there going to be strippers um, and whiskey? Then no. Manny Pacquiao, boxer for those of you who don't abla. Um, Teeny tiny little dude, too. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of people don't know, he is in politics down in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he made some anti-gay comments. And uh, his quote was, it's common sense. Uh, any animal where male is to, you never see any animals where there is male to male and female to fem female. The animals are better. They know how to distinguish males from females. And if we approve of male on male or female on female, then man is worse than animals. Except that almost every species on the planet has homosexuality in it. Every single one does. And and, and, every, and every. your dog, your little chow, will hump anything. Oh, God. <laughs> also, I will hump anything. Uh, also, um, every advanced, higher knowledge animal, so all of your dolphins, whales, cats, dogs, they all practice homosexuality. Now, Nike dropped him because of these comments. Mm, because right, Nike is a right. huge backer of LGBTQ and the other letters rights. So, but he has apologized since. Well, he, he did apologize. Well, he apologized, and then he um, followed up his apology with quotes from the Bible, saying that you know. Right. So I have I have a quote condemned. for his apology. I'm sorry for hurting people by comparing homosexuals to animals. Please forgive me for those I've hurt. I still stand on my belief that I'm against same-sex marriage because of what the Bible says. But I'm not condemning LGBT. I love you all with the love of the Lord. God bless you, and I'm praying for you. Right, but he, but he really put another one out where it was like quotes from the Bible as well, mm. you know, right after. So God. here's here's the thing, uh, just my opinion here. Um, obviously, everybody has a right to say what they want, uh, but there are certain people that are in a position to where they're influential um, over a large group of people, and. You know, in this case, he I, great for him for standing by his beliefs, but yeah. there were consequences to those actions. The, the sorry thing is that there are quite a few Americans who agree with him. Quite a few. Yeah. You know, and that's absolutely their belief. But again, when you get at the level that he's at, um, he's representing, he's chosen to accept money from certain brands and yep. he's representing those brands. And unfortunately, his words have to be done wisely. And in accordance, he's owned by the brands. Yep. I uh, so. I posted a great meme a few years ago, and I'm gonna have to go back and find it um, about freedom of speech and about how you have the right to say whatever the fuck it is you want to say. I mean, really, you have a not only a God-given right if that's your bent on it, you have just a universally given right to a say. Human right. Mm -hmm. You have a human right. You got a goddamn monkey's right. I don't care what kind of species you are. You got the right to stand up and say fuck this bullshit. You also have the right for other people to go, you're a fucking idiot, and then to stop <laughs> listening to you. So the thing you got to... Well, freedom of speech isn't also freedom from consequence. No, right. it is not the freedom from consequence. You, I could stand up on this table right here, right now, and say, I want to fuck a dolphin. And that's illegal in most states. I don't want to fuck a dolphin. Is it really illegal? Is yeah. It, is it is it on the books as illegal? Fucking animals is usually illegal on most in most Actually, states. Actually, fucking animals is legal in more states than um Not sodomy. Really? Well, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so I Holy can stand crap. on this table and say I will take it in the butt. 
Now, the consequence of that is, is that somebody's going to come in the door and try to take it in the butt or put it in my butt, one of the two. The other consequence of it is, is maybe my boss finds out that I'm willing to take it in the ass. And although they're already sticking it to my ass, uh, maybe they'll get upset with me and fire me because I said, oh, put it in my butt. Just but, so all of you know, uh, uh, Sierra will not put anything in her butt. That's not true. Oh. I'm Ooh. just kidding. <laughs> I have no idea. Last I, last I knew, two years I ago, no last idea. I knew, there was no butt stuff going I'm, on. Hey, Ma, Ka- the uh, times well, do change. Oh, oh. Let's find out. Uh, hey, Cali guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the outcome of the butt here? Uh, the last, the uh, outcome of the butt is income. poop. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> income. Or the income. Income. What's the <laughs> incoming word? <laughs> And uh, there, there's a couple more stories we might touch on if we have time, but one of the last ones I do want to touch on is uh, the viable alternative to Viagra. The first viable alternative to a va- Viagra in the last 15 years. And I was reading this story, and the only thing I could think of, right? So first let me tell you. Um, it's called extracorporeal shockwave therapy, or ESWT, as it were. And in other words, it's zapping the penis with low-intensity sound waves. And the only picture I had in my head was of a dude standing naked in front of a big giant speaker that's playing Barry White. No, all I all I can see <laughs> is the guy going, "No, honey, really, it's scientifically proven. Just hum at it." <laughs> Whole new meaning to the word hummer. Oh, so um, they've conducted studies on it, um, and they think this is a longer-term solution to Viagra. So uh, I was reading the article, and the article said Viagra gives you spontaneous erections. (laughs) It does, too. Uh, Well, that shit's crazy. You just be sitting there. It's like you're 13 again. (laughs) And every dude out there knows what I mean. It's like you're 13 again. It's just like, oh, that's a wonderful math problem. Boner! (laughs) Right? Yeah, see? See? Lawrence of Arabia Grace. It's exact- <laughs> See, he's always sorry, apologizing for himself. <laughs> you had that button ready, didn't you? You had it. <laughs> so ESWT, ESWT, show you're here with. ESWT, look for it coming soon. But does it, does soon it at a Radio Shack near you? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an app on your phone, so you just put the speaker oh, right on the God, tip of your dick. I have like a white noise app on my phone it's right gonna now. It's going to be a dick noise app. Which I hate, but... but- does it only stay hard while the um I don't know the vibes are happening? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's something we'll have to figure out. I'm trying to get updated, like up to the minute reporting for you guys on the caucus here. Um, just so you know, nobody really knows which ways it's going to go. A lot of people think Trump's gonna take the Republican caucus today in Vegas. I don't know if he will or not. Um it they're Rubio's kind of like a hometown hero down here. Is he really? Rubio used to live here in Vegas. Well, you know, Lock Fortune predicted Rubio. He did predict Rubio. And ever since the Ted Cruz thing that's been going on, Ted Cruz just fired his campaign manager for, for releasing a, a false story about Rubio uh, dissing the Bible. Right. And, um, of course, the, the Cruz campaign has done all kinds of crazy shit up to this point. They just need to shake it up, right? Because they they lost to well, they got to compete to Trump, Trump and South uh, wherever the hell. Well, the the problem is, is that every campaign out there either either has to be crazier than Trump's campaign or saner than Trump's campaign, and so I'm that's why I'm thinking like Cruz is trying too hard to be crazy, like Trump. Like he, he well, he he is crazy. I mean, if you just listen crazy. to some of the beliefs that he has, in my personal opinion. Because his beliefs are so out of whack with mine. To me, he's crazy. Oh, I think they're all really quick. I for some reason my chat wasn't working right in the um, direct and use stream. So Kelly guy said, as far as what we were talking about before, it has to be done underwater. It is related to. Why does this man use big fucking words? <laughs> he should write them phonetically for you. Write what them the, phonetically, the Kelly sound guy. wave thing? Use emojis and help me out here. The sound wave um, thing? It's related to lithotripsy for breaking up kidney stones. No Barry White required. Uh, I th- I still think it needs to be I accompanied by Barry White. Let's get Bee it hard. Bee won't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and then he mentioned earlier about um, when we were talking about The Walking Dead, uh, the best parts of the show are when they take something that you cannot ever imagine would be okay, like executing a child, and make it seem like it's the only reasonable choice. It is the only reasonable choice. It was the only reasonable in choice. The, in the very beginning scene, when you've got a young little girl 
that's like seven running at you, trying teeth to bare, you. try to eat you. I'm sorry, I'm gonna shoot her in your head. Yeah. <laughs> when you have a not even a budding psychopath, a full on sociopathic psychopath who believes the only way to save you is to kill you it's probably a good idea no, to kill so you that can person. change so you can change right, so you can change anyway so you can change anyway yes walking dead is the only show that will make the execution of a child fully justifiable so we don't know where the republican uh we don't know where it is right now i i can't even get right any now. early numbers like i'm searching all over the place and well, let's let our let's let stuff. our chat people do that yeah it's, you do some can. searching around so but i do know on that saturday was the democratic caucus. it was the democratic caucus hillary won but n really not by much it wasn't a landslide win here and there are many many places here it's 8 30 time for bed y'all uh many many places here in vegas at least many districts where bernie won in some places two to one right um, so it wasn't that close. I really what was it fifty three forty seven. Yeah, it was something really ridiculous like that. So I think here's what's going to happen at the Democratic National Convention when they go to try to find a president. It's going to be an absolute dead heat because you've got some people say three percent, some people say ten percent, but it's between the three and ten percent margin of error. Um, I veer more towards three percent, especially now that we have digital recording on information. So it's you know there's less error these days. It's going to be a dead heat between Sanders and Clinton. Yeah, it is. And and the Democratic National Convention is is they're either going to have to put, and they can put two presidential candidates out. They can say we're not selecting a single one. We're putting two out, or they're going to pressure one of them to be vice president for the other. That's cool. I'm I'm happy with both. But I'm going to tell you, social media did its job this week. And you guys have known me since the beginning of all this political talk. I've been kind of a Bernie girl, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of a Bernie girl. Social media this week, a couple of stories that I read, a couple of memes that were posted. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Bernie's not the way to go. <laughs> so... Well, vote libertarian. Come over to the other side. Well, we'll see. I, you know, I'm I'm happy either way. The only reason I wanted to vote for Bernie instead of Hillary was because of the 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 Clinton legacy and the Bush legacy. I'm tired of the legacies. Right. Right. I just want something new and fresh in there. But uh, you know, it's I, I don't but know. The, I could go either way. But Bernie think, Sanders is neither new nor fresh. Right. Well, you at know the, what I mean. At <laughs> the end of the day, when it comes down to it, and in you know, I'm kind of on the same page with you here, yeah. but at the end of the day, when when they're running against Trump, <laughs> <laughs> how that happened, I have no idea. You mean like the, how the, we're getting here? I have no idea. The Trump guy that just got in a fight with a pope. Yes. You want to talk one. about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to talk about that. So I will. Uh, let me just say a really quick story first. We're we're driving. I think I told you my daughter is very um very political for being 12. And so random stuff is coming out of her mouth as we're going. And she's like, I, I shared this on my, my Facebook, but she's like, man, that boot guy. She's like, I'd totally be down for him. Like, the boot's cool. He's rocking it. I want boot a free guy. pony. Yeah, it's some uh, some independent guy. Oh. He's a little crazy. But um, then randomly she's there and she's like, gosh, I feel so sorry for Ivanka. And <laughs> what's her name? Mar Marlena or something. Yeah. And then she's like listing off their names and I'm going, what are you talking about? And she's like, mom, Trump's former wives, like <laughs> the bitches that had to take it in the butt from Trump. <laughs> well, she didn't quite say that or there'd be an issue. But um, anyway, so <laughs> you'd be like, you've been on. listening to the show, haven't you? <laughs> so Pope, Pope Francis said this week that a person who thinks only about building walls, wherever, wherever they may be. Uh, and not building bridges is not a Christian. And this was in response to a question about Trump uh, aboard um, when he was when the Pope was aboard the airline or whatever. This was in response to Trump. Can I pull out my Reagan impersonation sure. here? Pope, tear down that wall. <laughs> The Vatican is surrounded by a wall. kind of Nixon-y, just so you I know. know. It was kind of nixon -y. I tried. <laughs> the Republicans with us all Anyway, out. so uh, Trump said that it's disgraceful that Pope Francis questioned his faith. I, I, honestly, I never thought of Trump as a Christian. No, never. Never, never crossed my I mind. I thought for Pope certain one day we were going to find out he was president of the Anton LaVey satanic group in, in New York. Like, I was for sure... One day he was going to come out going, that's right, I do have a Baphomet in my bedroom. We'll be like, woo! <laughs> I might have voted for him then. <laughs> Trump also went on to say that Vatican City controls who come in, 
when they come in. And I can see it in this whole haughty, you know, like, no, what, and his, what are you talking about? No, no, no. It's, it's Vatican his, City controls who comes in. It's uh, his grown-up sixth grader look. Yeah, yeah. When they come, how they come in as a city-state. Oh, no, no. That was Rubio that said that. Oh, Rubio's Rubio. depending on Yeah, yeah. so the, the Pope really hasn't got a leg to stand on. He lives in a, he lives in a country surrounded by a city separated by a wall with a giant gate that you have to come through and you have to pass through tons of security to get in, tons of security to get out, and you cannot immigrate there. <laughs> you cannot immigrate to the Vatican. But you kind of got to forgive it's him a, because I, he has I, a Pope mobile. It's, it's like, a private city. <laughs> He's got a Pope hat. Right. It's a private city. It's like if the Eiffel Tower roped itself off and said, all right, we're, we're, our, own, we're our own entity. It's, was, it's like Washington, D.C. So why it's can't a district? I mean, I'm not defending Trump at all. Right. Please don't <laughs> interpret this as me saying go Trump in any shape, fashion, or form. But why can't we just become a private country? Like I'm all for bringing all our boys home and telling Somalia and all those other fuckers that are living off our paychecks that we get from China to go fuck themselves. Get your money directly from China now. Don't go through us. Uh, I want to do this poem at the end. Okay. So give me. Uh a minute to do this poem at the end. Yeah. I thought that's awesome. Uh, but that's the last story, except for this gas leak. You want to cover that gas leak since you covered it last time? Bottom of the page. Um, yeah, they stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Story over. Gas leak done. So that uh, from October, the, the gas line that was leaking and drove tons of people away from it. Uh, they had to move, had to relocate uh, right. in California. Uh, the one that was pumping so much methane into the air that it probably like irreparably irreparably damaged. Uh, no matter what we do, there's no coming back from the global warming, they, climate they change. They sealed it. So it's Southern California Gas Company who charges you an arm and a leg anyway. Right, right. <laughs> Those assholes. <laughs> They're probably going to raise their price to cover the charge of stopping probably, the leak, you think? Probably. Well, didn't it happen, I could be wrong, but years ago when we had the, the uh, oil leaks... Didn't it ultimately raise our gas prices? Even yeah. though it like flooded our oceans and you know killed the animals yeah. and it's still causing damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how it works. how it always works. How much is uh? I paid a dollar seventy seven for gas. Oh yeah, I week. paid a dollar thirty eight in Phoenix. Nice. Yeah, that's what we uh, we were in Phoenix. That's what this weekend too. We didn't hook up even though we were in Phoenix. But yeah. Phoenix, let you guys know, is a big fucking city. She was on the north side. I was down in the ghetto on the south side. Uh, so, you know, it's my family. <laughs> By the way, I have determined, I have figured out, I have learned that I am no longer just a redneck biker hippie. I can now add, you ready for this? Ready. This is the new portion of my pedigree. Hawaiian drug cartel. Sweet. What? I can add Hawaiian drug cartel to my familial pedigree. I only dream How? of that. <laughs> How? I, I, I see no Samoan in you. No, no, no. It's Hawaiian. Hawaiian, Hawaiian man. Okay. I have a family member who lives in a beat a shack on the beach in Hawaii. <laughs> Apparently, he's also kind of a supplier of Hawaiian Kush for the rest of the country. Okay. Okay, but when you say he's Hawaiian, does that mean? No, he's not Hawaiian. He moved he to Hawaii. He lives in Hawaii. Okay. But he now so operates he's... a Hawaiian drug cart. Okay. Thank you. Of and Kush. Of ha Kush. Hawaiian purple something or other. I don't remember. I don't remember what he called what it. What is Kush? Sativa. He talks like. You know, he talks like a Hawaiian surfer dude who smokes pot all the time. So he's like, oh, so that's uh, what the, the Hawaiian coach. <laughs> the guy comes and leaves a couple grand and a hundred dollar bills. And then takes Your ever-expanding family. Well, I've this is somebody I've known my whole life. Like, it, it's not, it, it, he's not part of the adopted family that I keep, just somehow I keep gaining cousins. I just show up and I'm like, this is cousin so-and-so. And be like, ah, okay. Um. No, he's been my family member forever. I haven't seen him in like 13 years, but that's because for the last seven, he's apparently been building his Hawaiian drug empire. Well, every family has to have a drug cartel member in there. I'm just saying. I'm sure I got one. Every family needs to have I'm one. I'm sure I got one. Well, uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Somewhere in there. But mine's like... Selling the good Thai bud, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mine's the Hawaiian bud, man. <laughs> speaking, speaking of family, I had shared this on my... Um, on my Toxie on my Facebook page, but I was uh, on a, a dating site, and um, and I go, damn, that's familiar. <laughs> that person looks familiar, and I'm looking, and I'm like, 
Oh, it's my ex-husband's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Did you what, did you find him attractive first? No, oh, okay. I didn't. But I just, I kept looking because I'm like, he's just, he's very familiar. And then I'm like, it couldn't be. And I'm like, but it is. But it couldn't be. But it is. And then is I this thought, one of those ones where it reports who's been seeing, viewing your profile? Probably. Yeah. So he probably. <laughs> he's probably already probably called your ex-husband and be like, I think your wife wants to do me, man. <laughs> Well, here, I, I mean, out of fairness, he's an ex as well. So we're both out of the family. So, so technically it's on. <laughs> Free game. All's fair in love and divorce. Right? <laughs> Best way to make, you know, Christmas fun. Family dinner Have babies fun, with Anna. exes as exes. Perfect. That's fabulous. But she, that's moving into your redneck, redneck biker territory. hippie territory. Yeah, you're crossing right. over, man. Welcome yeah, to the dark no. side. I'm working. I'm working on it. Incest is the best. Put your family to the test. <laughs> no, no, no. I have such an aversion to incest. I do too. It's not even funny. <laughs> so disgusting. Because I got to meet one of my cousins who I haven't seen in a thousand years too, this weekend. Um, the last time I saw him, he was like a teeny tiny little kid, but now he's like six foot eight and three hundred and fifty pounds, and he's just just big fucking. And you're like, did I give you a dude. hand job in a club one time? No, and I, you know, and he also spent some time in the Hawaiian drug cartel portion of the family, so he's you know surfer, beachy, pothead, smoking. Hey, our cousin's birthday's on four twenty this year. <laughs> and my mom was like, "Hope oh, he's really good looking." And I, like, he's my cousin, and that's gross. I think that's one of the advantages of having a little bit of ethnicity inside yourself. So if I meet anybody who's semi-Asian, I just stay away from them. That way I don't have to ever worry guaranteed. about. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. Or and now um, my stepdad is Puerto Rican, right? So I just watch the mulatto, you know, the light dark. So if I'm dating a dude, he's like super white or super black, right? He's got to be like None dark chocolate. Yeah, nothing in the middle. I just skip all that. Any kind of Asian in the eyes, just skip all that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm Irish, and that's like 90% of the world's population because yeah. we procreate like fucking rabbits. Prolific as motherfuckers, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've got an uncle who calls himself the, uh, uh, he calls himself Elfin Magic because he's shorter than I am. He's like 50-something. He's shorter than I am. He's got he's got a skullet going on, you know, where he's like. Skullet? Yeah, well, you know, he's bald to here and long in the back. It's called a skullet. And he rides a Harley. <laughs> And he's got all his Harley gear on all the time, and he's got all these leprechaun. So, that's going into our hashtags, you know. Skull it. And uh, he's got all these Irish tattoos all over him, and he's so funny because he's a wonderful, amazing artist. Like, uh, artistry apparently runs in the family. Skip this generation, but runs in the family. And uh, so he's got all these leprechauns that he's drawn tattooed all over him and all of his own gear that he's painted. Uh, and his chaps all say elf and magic or magical elf all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Family. Okay, Legolas. Yeah, <laughs> except not hot. <laughs> not hot. My uncle Ugly is. Legolas. He's nice, but he is not hot. Broken Legolas. <laughs> Tiny Legolas. Tiny broken Legolas. <laughs> Tiny ugly broken Legolas. <laughs> Tiny not hot Legolas. All right, let's do. Before we get into our main stories, let's get into what's your curse word of the week. You ready? Curse word of the week. Yes, I am. It's time for the curse word of the week, brought to you by Sierra from SinCityBounty.com. <laughs> This week's curse word of the week is monkey fucker. Monkey fucker. Monkey fucker is that asshole who cuts you off as you are getting into or out of the merging lane. That's a monkey fucker. You monkey fucking cocksucking son of a bitch. Monkey fucker. <laughs> Specifically the cut off merging lane. Guy. Yes. Yes, because you're okay. So if you're getting off the freeway, you have to. This is the fucking rule, Las Vegas. <laughs> If you are merging onto the freeway, you have to yield to traffic already traveling in the freeway. So when the guy zips up behind you and cuts you off because he feels like it, he's a monkey fucker. Now, if you're getting off the exit and the guy who's trying to merge on zips up around in front of you and then cuts you off, he is also a monkey fucker. Okay. It's totally a traffic thing, monkey fucker. Monkey fucker is a traffic thing. I, I'm, I was thoroughly convinced that was going to be one of my son's first words. Because I drive a lot and he rides with me and I don't edit myself. And so it's always a lot of monkey fucker, son of a bitch. I had to teach him not to flip people off. <laughs> Please don't flip people off. It's not, it's not nice. Mine was a two. 
one time when I'm pulling up to the light and people start crossing the street and she's like, you fucking people. I'm like, oh. <laughs> when she was two? When she was two. Wait, she could say fucking people at yeah. two? No, she talked early. She you talked met her? One. Yeah, my, well, my, my kid's very first words were bye bye mommy and uh, and damn it. And he used it contextually, like he used it properly. Yeah. Like he'd drop a toy on the floor and he'd look down and he'd just go, oh, damn it. <laughs> like, ah, that's so adorable, but please don't do that at preschool. Right. <laughs> Mommy favorite, will go to jail. My favorite word is I would always discuss using, like, there is a consequence to your action. Or do you want consequences? Or, like, she'd go around and she's like this little tiny, you know, cute girl in her little voice. And she's like, what consequence am I getting for that? <laughs> That's like me going, ooh, daddy, am I going to get a spanking? No, that? not like that. Now we're talking <laughs> my child. Don't make me throat punch you. <laughs> I'm into that, you know. I know. <laughs> I mean, something that derives you pleasure and pain. I got it. I like it, like it, like it, like it. Like it. Did uh, anyone in our chat find out what the current Nevada, Las Vegas caucus uh, No one's Republican. mentioned it. No, no okay. one's mentioned it yet. Uh, so my big story of the week is uh, Apple versus the FBI or the U.S. government, right? So um, the U.S. government uh, is trying to find out why the San, San Bernardino killers, uh, Farouk and Malik, decided to support ISIS and shoot all the people that they did. Not ISIS. It says ISIS. Radical Islamists who supported ISIS. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> or ISIL, as the ISIL president says. ISIL. ISIL. Anyway, so um, we know that Malik posted on social media, um, and she did it under a pseudonym, and she used strict privacy settings and all of her social media. So the government wants to go through their iPhones. But iPhone, their new iOS, has this thing where uh, you can put a code on your phone, which right. is highly recommended. I have, I have one. one on mine. You need to have one. I have it auto lock after a minute because you don't know. I don't want my mom looking at my Tumblr porn. Right. <laughs> I don't want my I mom. lock mine for the same reason. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> anyway, um, the government can try to get the numbers, but after 10 tries and failing, the phone will erase all the data. Oh, That's the man. new iOS, right? And, and it's just for your personal security. I love that, that it does that. Right. Um, well, the government wants Apple to build uh, a program or something so they can get into the phone, a backdoor so they can get in the information without getting it wiped out. And Apple said, fuck you. That's exactly what they said. Yeah. Google is on board back in uh, Apple. Microsoft. Microsoft. No, no, no. Microsoft said, um, I, I have to double check. I thought they said they would do it. Uh, the article I read he... had Bill Gates and then Bill Gates was crossed off. So he's kind oh, okay, of like on okay. the fence. I so. thought at one point. But the guy who, like John McAfee, um, the one who does the antivirus, he has offered to go ahead and unlock it. At what point, though? At what point can the government not open like an iPhone? I don't well, here's understand. the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Apple has done this before, but this was before this new iOS, right? right? They have done it before, uh, and so all of the stuff that they've done before won't work on the new one. So that's cool. And the government says it'll only be just for this phone. Mm -mm. But then, wait, the government has just said there are 12 other phones we'd like to get into, too. Right. So if you build this, we'll use it for these 13 phones, and then you can get rid of it. No, and, then, and then you get to when you get to phone 12, they'll be like, oh, there's 45 other phones. There's 4.2 right. billion phones we would like to hack into. Right. It's right. a slippery fucking slope. You, but you, I don't understand. Why can't uh, – you know they have hackers. You know they have people who can hack anything. Why can't they just – Hack in the the government it, should, but I think they want to go through the right. Well, I, no. I don't know. I don't know here's, what it's turned into. Why here's it's how hacking this works. Big, huge thing. Here's how. I mean, I, my daughter can probably get in. She figured mine out. <laughs> well, here's how. Well, here, the, here's how hacking works. Is it's it's a, it's a series of trial and error. The uh, whole thing you see on TV where they plug in a little thing and it that's goes. That's true. Hacking. Bing, done. That's not there, how it There's works. an algorithm that's working that's running all of these numbers, right? right? But what so. it's doing is it's trying each number. It's trying each combination of these numbers. And lightning you only fast get, because another computer is doing it. Right. You only get 10 tries before the phone disables. The, the likelihood of you guessing my PIN code without knowing me. Now, if you knew me, it's a lot easier to guess a PIN code. 
But without knowing me, the likelihood of you figuring out my pin code in 10 tries or less is astronomical. You, Even the can't, government can't do can't it. You can't tell me there's not people out there who can do it. There might there, there there probably be. There might be, but not there in probably. 10 tries or less. It is it is almost mathematically impossible I will to do bet it. you that the government has tried all the hackers that they know. They, or they, they are currently on, and they they knocking on doors. It's a fucking iPhone, people. It is a fucking iPhone. A four <laughs> How can you knock it into a fucking iPhone? <laughs> uh, the, the, possibil- the, the, the possible number of combinations on a four-digit, and I bet you my boyfriend can configure it out right now. But the possible combinations... Mine's five. When you get to the six, they're five digits. Okay. Five, you get the higher you get, but the, the, the possible... The number of different combinations is so high... That it would be, like I said, next to impossible for you to guess it in four tri- ten tries or less, even with all but of the best. Then they can, the then world. they can come up with a hack to disable the ten tries or less. Like so, you can't tell me none of this is possible. They can hack like anything. I'm sure oh, they can. Uh, I, I don't An know. An iPhone cannot be like you the would, ultimate. You would think so. You would think so, but. Why is the government going after Apple? They're trying to use an 18th century law to make Apple do this. And Apple is fighting. They can't hack into this iPhone. Well, I mean, they can't go without, back to Apple. Without the, the risk of damaging or uh, deleting the data. Right. I mean, and here's the thing. If, if Apple's like, all right, well, we'll do it for this one, and then we'll do it for the other 12, people who have the iPhone are going to go, well, you know, now that the security's shot... Maybe I'm um, going to switch over to I'm Android over or that Android the already, Windows phone. So they, or, so Android they has already opened it. it up wide. To the government. Like, they shouldn't do it. They should not do it. No, they, they they're shouldn't. right. They're right in saying no. But why the fuck can't the government crack an iPhone? <laughs> this Isn't is, iPhone? Of, these are the same of, people that... These are the, these. One of my favorite memes that I posted today is... Uh, for you fuckers who think that the, there's this government, big government conspiracy, they can't even break into an iPhone. <laughs> really? Just... This is the same government that operates the IRS. <laughs> the the same... IRS can get anything. <laughs> the DMV. You can't tell me they. I'm sorry. They can't. These, you these can't are the... tell me they can't get an iPhone. Like these are the same people who who throw it's kindergarten not... fits because, well, he's not going to fund the project I want to fund, so we're just going to shut everything down. Just so you know, 24 is just a show. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Keith <Keeper> oh, Sutherland <laughs> is the ultimate. Just, I watched the entire. I binge watched that whole entire series. It's a great series. Did Don't you watch the wrong. last season? The new one that I, I came out with. I, I did. I, I, I started and then I yeah. still never finished. Um, but it's just a show. I know there are <laughs> secret people somewhere. Like the Pentagon is huge, right? You can't tell me it's all like, <laughs> like. Secretary. They are not like, that smart. Our government is not that they smart. Yes. Look who is running for president. No, you guys are crazy. Look who is running they for president. They can do it. They can do it. They can do it. There's a reason that they're asking <laughs> Apple to do it. They can do it. They can find anything. So like, that's my big no story. Reason. We've got uh, six minutes. Oh, wait. Six. Hold on. There's a few. Um, okay. I have been ignoring chat. I'm so sorry. Um, Hotshot LV said Apple in no way should do what the government wants. How stupid is the FBI tech department that they can't get into a damn phone? <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, I would be willing to bet they have tried nine times and they're scared to try again. <laughs> oh, like, well, well, we got one. nine. We got nine Who down. Who said let's, that one? Who said let's that? Hold, they've tried um, hot things. shot LV. And then Kelly Guy <laughs> said the government will never let a good crisis go to waste. They are just using this to force the development of the tool they want. And then they will use Apple's refusal to justify legislation, legislation to make effective encryption illegal. I, I, I can see that coming up. Okay, so that's, that's all fine and I can see that dandy, legislation coming up. You can't tell me they don't have someone who can break an iPhone. They've done it nine times. They and 24 is real. You can't do it number one. 24 is not real. 24 is real. Those are fighting words right there. 24 <laughs> is real. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to go back to my click, click. <laughs> <laughs> Try sending a text message that way. Click, 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 click. Forget that. You could be sending. Go back to like sending like, telegrams and shit. Me, 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 I have to tell you, I, 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 I do the whole. Well, I know that you have you have a strip on your uh, laptop camera, and that's yeah. so that the camera won't read and that one will read for our uStream, right? Mm-hmm. 
No, that's no, she so at home the government. when I'm naked in front of <laughs> my government camera. Can't spy on you? Like no one can hack into my computer and spy on me. <laughs> it's the same thing on my. While well, she's on her I Tumblr porn. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would tell you I, I as, as I'm in there multitasking on right, all right, my right. porn. <laughs> as a huge fan of conspiracy theories and not quite a believer in them. I also have that same strip See? on my camera. So. And being a fan of conspiracy theories and knowing what a p- bunch of panty waste most of our government is anyway, including the intelligence agencies, uh, it's why I won't own an Xbox One. Really? Yes! They can spy on you with an they Xbox One? Yeah, they can. They can. Your Xbox One hey, is constantly I, on. I knew someone who worked for Sprint for a really long time, the local phone company oh, here, yeah, they before everything. they became this uh, Southwestern whatever. Right. And uh, she talk to me about putting in those secret lines for the government to listen to you and right. how they got a memo about hooking up the new TVs for cable and stuff like that because the new TVs can spy on you too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but they no, all X- can. Xbox One is but always again, on listening. But I think that's again. all corporate. I think that's all corporate espionage. That's right. Google watching you and seeing what you're doing so they can say, oh, I think she needs a new bra. <laughs> well, <laughs> putting yeah. up bra Google ads, you know. <laughs> So we only got a couple of minutes left. You wanted to. So here's the thing about the Bundy update. Uh, the yeehaw happening in or was happening in Oregon. As of the 11th, it's over with. Everyone's been arrested, killed, or maimed. Um, <laughs> and Clive and Bundy has been officially indicted on not paying the money he owes the government. Uh, Alexia, if you recognize that the government is not smart, why do you support the candidate that wants the same government to be in charge of even more of the economy? I don't know if I do. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. And then if Apple is smart, they will create an entirely new OS with no relation to the old OS. That's and probably the phone what. And release the new one all in the same day. Yeah, because they come up with iOSs like every six they weeks. They do. I just had a call T Mobile tonight and they're like, please I'm constantly look and updating see if you're my phone. Yeah. So. Yeah. So how many? How much time we got left? One minute. Okay. okay. So I have this. Uh, there was this poet named Dolores Miguel, and she took advantage of an award ceremony uh, ceremony where she read the Lord's Prayer, except the words were in praise of the vagina. Anyway, she is um, she is being. Um, I think she might be arrested and prosecuted. I'm <laughs> not sure. Uh, anyway, so it starts. Our Mother who art in heaven, hallowed be thy coño. <laughs> The epidural, the midwife, bring us, bring to us your cry, your love, your strength. Become by your will our uterus over the earth. Our day of every day give us today. And do not allow those sons of bitches to abort love, make war. Liberate us forever and ever. Vagina, let's go. <laughs> A motherfucking men. We'll be back next Tuesday. We love you. SinCityBounty.com. Peace out, bitches. We're my girl. Views and opinions expressed on this program were those of the hosts and guests and did not necessarily reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio, its affiliates, or its parent company. Mm-hmm.